Hello, thanks for tuning in to my video. So today's um, plan or art piece I'm gonna work on just sort of fell into my lap. So my mother-in-law is doing renos and it looks like something I might make use of. I think it was a light fixture. It kinda looks like a window so I could paint a scene in it. Hmm. And step one. Gotta wash off all this debris, all this debris. Well, and I also don't want to hose it off and soak the wood, so it looks like I'm gonna have to unscrew this piece. This isn't working. This isn't working. Three hours later. <laughs> Stop filming. <laughs> ah! So I've got my piece all washed up. Now I'm trying to get a plan. So I use my iPad um, to sort of draw something out. So I really love the colors in this photograph. So I'm gonna probably play off of that, extend it, maybe a, you know, add a few, a few more, just pretty little trees, happy little trees. Yes, they all talk to each other and ask each other how their day is going. All right, so this is what I've sort of come up with. The basic gist of it. Some mountains, got the stars in there. A few trees in the foreground. Oops, but I think this will be a beautiful. I'm gonna be starting the base coat, which is essentially a pink strip in the middle and then fading to a light purple and then to a darker purple. And I'm kind of hoping that because this is plastic, it'll be nice and slick and easy to blend. better than I thought. The blending turned out pretty good. So I've tucked it away in my art room so that it actually has some proper time to dry. Being on plastic, it's not absorbent like a canvas or wood or something else that will dry quickly. And knowing my cats, he'll probably jump right on top of it. So away is best. So I left my painting for a day and it is now dry. I know it's dry because I decided to touch it in the middle of the painting earlier. It was not dry. Um, so now I have a smudge to fix at some point. I'm gonna color block um, this area, this piece of land, as well as the mountains, kind of rough, rough them in. So I've got to mix a purpley blue and a bluey purple. <laughs> to roughen the landscape, you know, just let us paint. So I've got my mountains all roughed in. So now I can move on to the landscape or the, the snow, which yes, I am painting purple snow right now because snow is basically, I mean, it's white, yes but normally it reflects whatever colors are around it. So, you know, if you've got a blue sky, the snow's got a hue of blue in it, not just white. If I have one piece of advice to give you 
not to tell an artist, if you're watching them work or whatever, don't tell them they're born with it, it's in their blood, oh, your parents probably are artists, that kind of thing, because it just basically writes off any effort, practice, years of work that they've ever done to get to where they're at. So don't say it. Because yeah, if I was born, you locked me in a room for 28 years, I'd come out and be like, yeah, I could draw stuff. So my base colors are done. I've put this in my art room to dry and I'm gonna have to add a second coat for this portion. Dry! What is that? Somebody's pubis hair? Come on, Lana. Come on, you're a professional. <sighs> I think it's time for a coffee break. <clears throat> okay, um, that was necessary. Necessary to waste your time. <coughs> All right, so back to work. Uh, first things first, let's get that pube out of there. Oh, extracting the pubes, because that always happens to the artists when the pubes get in the paintings. Super annoying. Oh, it broke up into pieces. <laughs> Success. I gotta make up for lost time, but uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna start doing details, try and explain along the way, show you snippets of what I'm doing, but let's go for it and get this painting done. Okay, so I'm not too sure how I'm gonna explain how I do trees, but I basically do a little U, a couple branching off of it, another little U, it branches off, and then I add in a few extra lines, kind of random. That's the best thing to describe a tree is don't try and perfect it, just random branches. It's okay if it goes a little thicker in some spots and thinner, trees are organic. Demon has awoken. <laughs> Means I have to keep an eye on him to make sure he doesn't jump on my wet painting. <sighs> what do I think? So this paintbrush I'm using is really small. Uh, I actually made it myself out of about 12 eyelashes that I collected over the years at various bars. Mostly around the sink, but sometimes on the toilet seat. You're wondering what brushes I use. There you have it. Stars on stars on stars. Can't wait to put this in the frame. 